Uh, I downloaded this uh, box. Uh, they call it uh, uh, Laser Cut Iris Box V1, and there's also a V2 version. Uh, I downloaded the V2. And uh, to me, there was not enough information of how to put it together. So it's pretty simple that uh, you put together the bottom, which is the solid piece, and then you uh, glue in these uh, side pieces, okay? The same thing you do then uh, on the top, you uh, get them all located uh, where they're supposed to be, uh, sticking out a little tiny bit maybe even, and then I did crazy glue and I used the spray uh, to set the glue very fast, okay? But then I didn't know how this iris works. So I finally, I think, figured it out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get small enough screws. So this is slightly loose, okay? In my case, it's three millimeters, okay? And then what I did is I uh, put the knot on my finger like this and then went underneath and then I put this... Uh, in its place. Now make sure that they are all facing this direction. Okay, so uh, uh, because otherwise uh, you'll have a hard time making the iris to work. So there we go, like that. Okay, now the other problem uh, I had to solve was uh, when you loosen up the knot uh, and don't secure it somehow so it doesn't unscrew. Uh, so I, again, I sold it with crazy glue, uh, and, uh, I bought a crazy glue that has this, uh, a loose, uh, uh, this piece that you can put on the top and it uh, has a very tiny, uh, it's a bitsy, uh, thing on a, uh, as a tube. And then you can just drop the way I did that is I did it like this. I put it on that, uh, on that, um, nut and a screw. Try not to glue it this way. And then, uh, very quickly, I sprayed the spray uh, so this sets it fast. And now, hopefully, these nuts will not get any looser, okay? And then I'm going to show you how the other, other half goes. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure exactly yet. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. But... Basically, I put together these two rings, and uh, they have to match the holes. If they don't, then just flip it over, by the way, or flip it over this way, because uh, somehow uh, they don't cover up. Otherwise, uh, there might be a slight difference. I don't know. But uh, it works, and this goes first, and this goes last. And then I put the same 3 millimeter, and then uh, you get these pieces. That, so that piece goes here. Okay, like that. And then uh, it has to go over here in this hole. So basically line it up so you have so you have you can see through both the iris as well as the body. And then uh, and then and this goes that way. And that spacer make sure that it stays there. And then I'm gonna somehow try to put this knot on the other side. And again, secure it with some crazy glue. Uh, so that's what I'm planning to do. And let's hope that uh, I'll somehow have enough fingers uh, <laughs> that, I, that I can actually hold uh, the, the nut in the right spot before I secure it with the screw. And then, of course, you have to just put these spacers in uh, with a tweezer and make sure that it's far enough and that you have this lined up and then do the next screw and next screw. So it's five screws total, okay? And they are all machine thread, you know, that's uh, not a wood screw. Alrighty, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and struggle. I don't want you to see that part. <laughs> okay, the way I decided to do this is I, I made uh, uh, more of these uh, little pieces, these spacers, and then, I just take a skew, I put the nut down as far as it goes, and then I take this crazy glue, and let me get my glasses down here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna glue that 
knot, but you want to make sure that you're not gluing uh, under the knot. And very quickly, I set it. So that way, oops, didn't set. Okay. I just do it one more time. And then I remove the skew, okay? So now I have a, uh, a knot that is uh, glued to the spacer, and I have this uh, skew uh, assuring that it's uh, uh, in, in an a area where I can actually use the screw, the, the bolt that's going to go here. Uh, uh, you know, so then I, uh, so this is, this was part of this. And then I made myself uh, a little piece of wire like this. So it's a uh, bent, has this little thing in here so I can hold it in my hand. And then I created kind of a, like a little fork. You see that it's a uh, split up. And what I'll do is this piece is going to go in like this. Uh, you know, towards the top. So uh, uh, you can basically just put it down somewhere and I have to flip the wire and straighten it up for this, for this process. And I'm going to just uh, put these, uh, this wire next to the nut and on that spacer. There we go. And it's holding. So now I turn this back up again so I can I can lift it up. So the very first thing after this you have to do is we have to take a, a tweezers like like this and let me just put this over here. And we need to line up the next, uh, this part here, this hole, and uh, the two holes on the top has to be lined up. As you can see, it's lined up, right? Okay. And I'm going to take the screw. I use three millimeters, as I said earlier, and put it down there. Now I'm going to grab me a, a spacer. And Lift this up. Oh. I need to line this up again. And then put the, shove this uh, spacer in here. There we go. So now I have this top piece, bottom piece, spacer, and the hole over here lined up all the way down. So now very carefully, I'll just put down the tweezers, put in the bolt or a screw, whatever you want. Okay, so now I, I'll double check making sure that the that the spacer is there as you can see it is there now i'm going to open this up so i have the most access and the way i do it is i'm going to go inside underneath this bolt and land it in this hole because this hole is bigger than the nut and that will guide the screw into the nut that is sitting here on the bottom so we'll get a screwdriver here, and I'm going to tilt this little bit so I can actually see the, see the knot, I mean the bolt. There we go.
कमान I did not catch the thread. Uh, let's make sure. Let's make sure that uh, that the crazy glue didn't uh, do anything stupid. And it did. So I just uh, I just put another screw into it. And knocked off that little tiny part that was preventing for the uh, for the screw to catch the thread in the nut. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Whoops! I had it, and then I, there we go. Okay, I'm going to bend this more so it has a little spring to it. And then I'll see if that catches. Nope, it didn't catch for some reason. The thread, you have to. I guess you have to get lucky. <laughs> I got lucky once. There we go. Put my thumb under, and now I'm going to break off that wire. Okay. Now, you don't want to tighten it uh, too much, because then you will not be able to you know, go left and right. So make sure that it's slightly loose. So this is loose. And I think I want it a little looser. There we go. I wanted to buy that loose. Okay. So now I just have to struggle through one, two, three more. Okay. So at least you have an idea that it is not an easiest way of assembling this, the design does not allow it so but uh, with some patience <laughs> you can put it together so for now I'm gonna stop and uh, here it is assembled <laughs> does it work no I cannot make it twist uh, so I'm a little disappointed uh, I think uh, because it's loose a little bit I think that's probably one of the reasons uh, maybe uh, there should have been a nut on a top here so it stays uh, a true down so it doesn't wobble uh, because any of these pushing things they need to have something has to be solid and something has to be loose. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is that I use these screws right here. Uh, they are uh, bottom and Amazon. And they are basically M3, 4, 5, and 6, and it's an assortment. And I like assortment because it, you get everything, washers, nuts, and different uh, sizes of the, of the screws or bolts. And, uh, <clears throat> and that's about it. I'm not very happy with this outcome because it's not working quite right, but uh, I tried. 
give it thumbs up and I'll, I'll hope I'll see you next time and have a great day.